Um, the media really played a lot on on a lot of the negativities of, of the country and they are I think a lot like South Africa in the sense that we're not first world but we're definitely not third world and uh, of course we had a lot of publicity you know negative publicity before the the World Cup and you know we smashed it we did such a good job and I think Rio also did the same um, of course as, as like I said there, there were always challenges or there were always going to be challenges and it wasn't um, I think the infrastructure and, and uh, shall we say that the public transport is not the same as what, what it was in London but again London is first world um, so all things considered, I think they did a really amazing job and well done to them and all the athletes thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, Rio 2016, I think it definitely was a success. Um, as I said, you know, I think it's a, it's a better pull to swallow that you that are not coming away with a gold medal. But I think it was a huge success in the sense that Team South Africa had our most successful games in the medal count. So we had 10 medals, which is phenomenal for, for us. And uh, like I said, of a country that, that has such little funding compared to the big powerhouses, we, we really do exceptionally well. We have such talent in South Africa. Um, you know, the guys are, it's, it's, we, we keep surprising people, you know. Um, I mean, uh, one of the most talk about, talked about performances was Wade Fanica from nowhere breaking the world record. You know, it just proves, like I say, we have such talent in South Africa. And, and in four years time, I'm telling you, we're gonna have more of those guys coming out of nowhere and more people, you know, uh, talking about these, these unknown characters and, and conquering the world.